hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing um, the last halloween look of 2019 i am super excited for it not only am i excited because it's my very favorite one that i've done um i did lose my blue contacts so the pictures actually are better because i added in blue contacts but I'm excited for that, and I'm also excited to get back to normal looks. As much as I love Halloween, I haven't posted a single normal look since then, so I am excited for that. Um, so for the eyes today, I'm using the Armed and Gorgeous palette by Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. Um, I'm actually filling in my eyebrows with the two orange shades in the palette. Um, since I will be wearing an orange wig, um, I was going to use a liquid lipstick, but... Um, all the liquid lipsticks were like too bright being that um, Chucky's hair or the wig that I got at least is um, more like of a true ginger color so I'm gonna be looking at two different mirrors throughout this whole thing because I couldn't figure out which one I liked better and which one showed you more but anyways I just kind of switch between them kind of in unintentionally I think is how you say it unintentionally yeah um so filling them in I'm doing it very messily because I'm just gonna go in with concealer and fix them up that's usually how I do my brows I just go in and conceal after um it's just easier than trying to perfect it when you're already gonna conceal them so just filling it in and then I'm gonna take the Catrice I was gonna use my Tarte but I was like no 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 I'm gonna use the Ch six dollar one instead so i'm just using a really tiny detailed brush um i believe it's just from a set on amazon sometimes amazon brushes are the best i just got two sets that i'm really really happy with um but anyways that's besides the point i'm just carving out my brows i'm doing the bottom and then the top um just because that seems to work the best um i do go in with brow gel later and set everything in place just once more because I just wanted them to be as clean as possible and stay in place. So then um, just kind of just protect, perfecting them and then I am just blending out the concealer so there's like not too many harsh lines on the eyes or the forehead. Um, because that can be kind of a pain to fix later on. So then I'm going in with the 24-hour brow setter again. And I'm just setting the eyebrows again. And then I'm going to get started on the eyes. I was looking for an eye primer. Could not find one. Um, it ended up being behind me on the floor. So, yeah. Um, anyways, so I just skipped eye primer. I already had the concealer on my lids, so it was alright, really. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, yellow first. I just showed you all the shades I was gonna use because I was using that mirror as well as the mirror up top. I'm just doing one eye first. Um, I don't mind the eye look I came up with, but it was definitely not my favorite, and it took me a while to even get it, like, manageable. But anyways, I'm just using the yellow shade from the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Um, I don't have it in front of me right now, so I can't really tell you what it is. But there's only one yellow shade, so that's what I'm using. And then I'm going in with a mixture of the orange shades, mostly the bright orange though. And I'm just going on a little bit smaller of a brush, but still pretty big, and bringing that lower. And then I'm going to blend the edges again with the yellow, um, just so we get a really seamless blend. Then I'm going in with one of the darker colors. It's not the darkest brown, but it's the one that's like a ready brown. I wish I had the palette right here, but I'm not getting up to get it. Um, but anyway, so I'm deepening up the crease a little bit. Um, and then I go in, blend out the edges, and then just further deepen the eyes. You know how it goes. And then I just do a little cut crease action with a couple of the shades. So I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of that and I will catch up with you in a little bit.
Okay, so now just finishing up the eyes. As you can see, it's just a basic a cut crease. Not my favorite, but not the worst. Um, and then I go off camera and I finish the other eye. And pretty much my whole face because it really wasn't about the face makeup. It's just the way I always do my face makeup. Well, anyway, so skip that. We're going in to the um, cuts, scars, whatever wounds you want to call it. Um, I'm using liquid latex. And then I'm just laying down some um, like strings of cotton pad. Um, I just ripped it in little parts. And I'm just starting to make the cuts or the slits or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just kind of placing them wherever. Okay, I was like, who the hell is I talking to because no one was here? It was my damn cat. He was pissing me off so much. Knocking over my light. Um, so anyways, just adding a bunch of cuts because Chucky has a bunch of cuts obviously that's what kind of makes them even more creepy and yeah just strategically placing them just kidding it's not super strategic but after I do that then I just go in with the latex and uh cover up the um cotton so you can't really tell it's cotton at the end I usually do two layers of latex over top of the cotton just to make sure that it just looks like texture at the end So yeah, I'm going to continue to do that and then I will be back again. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my Maran liquid li liquid makeup. Um, it's pretty much paint. It is paint, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyways, I'm going in with that and I'm just going to be brushing that on as just a base for the blood later and all the other painting. Um, I'm just using a regular brush for this and just going over it kind of messily so it doesn't look super perfect because you don't want it to I mean they're cuts they're not gonna be perfectly done um but yeah just covering all of that then I just go in with another layer just to kind of make sure that it's pretty opaque being that it goes over white it's more of a pink color at first and then yeah I just wait for that to dry and then and now we're going in with Maron liquid makeup in um the black color obviously um and i'm going to start um sketching out some little stitch marks um i end up going over silver with this after i wanted to make sure that the black made the silver dark enough kind of more like a staple because the silver was pretty light on its own so anyways i just make these marks um like i said i'm looking up at a mirror i have two mirrors there it's kind of weird it's something new that I'm doing and I don't think I like to watch it um but anyway so I'm doing that and then I'm going to um let these dry a little bit I really don't let them dry probably long enough but I'm super impatient um anyways I have a wig cap on now uh I didn't get the silver part on camera I totally forgot about that but now I'm just filling in uh, the little gaps of the red with scab blood. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just throw on a wig and, yeah. Make sure that you check out my Instagram because the photos are so much better because I did have the blue um, edited eyes, being that I lost my blue contacts. 
But I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, this Halloween series. I worked really hard on it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we will be back in a couple days for new non-Halloween uh, videos. So look forward to that. See you guys then. Bye. Thank you.